I was standing on the banks of the Catatumbo River in Venezuela when the group of teenagers turned to me and said, everything's gonna be fine. We'll bring the guns. That was when I got worried. Where the Catatumbo River flows into Lake Maracaibo, there is something in the air. It's what the naturalist Alexander von Humboldt described as electrical explosions that are like a phosphorescent gleam. It's what a meteorologist might call a MCS, or mesoscale convective system. Locals call it the Relampego del Catatumbo, but you and I would probably just call it an everlasting lightning storm. Not only does this storm happen somewhere between 140 and 160 times on average every year, it's been happening for hundreds and hundreds of years. Each storm uh, lasts for 10 hours and can have 200 lightning strikes per hour. On some occasions, it's been recorded as having a lightning strike every second. Given the right ingredients, given the right geography, you can make a storm machine. And that's what Lake Maracaibo is. So here's what it's got going on. The Catatumbo region is surrounded by this huge V-shaped uh, set of mountains. And what happens is you've got cold air coming in off the Andes, meeting with warm Caribbean air, and both of them settling into the Catatumbo Basin. And that's the ingredients you need for a storm. The locals are incredibly proud of the Relampego de Catatumbo. And they're right to be proud of it. Not once, but twice, the lightning storm has protected the area from attack. In the 1500s, Sir Francis Drake tried to attack the town of Maracaibo and was repelled because his ships were seen via the lightning storm. The same thing happened during the fight for Venezuelan independence when the Spanish were trying to attack, and so the right to show a certain amount of affection for it. The state of Zulia in Venezuela is also, besides being home to a beautiful lightning storm, a little dicey. The US State Department, among other countries' governments, say don't go there. It's got a bunch of drug traffickers and various gangs of all kinds of stripes. It's a good place to get yourself kidnapped and then ransomed. It took my co-founder Josh and I 15 hours to get to this region of Venezuela. And when we got to Lake Catatumbo to get on the boats to go to the island, the boats weren't there. And by the time the boats were there, it was night. This meant that we would need lights to navigate the river, which the fishermen who were gonna take us were like, we're not doing that. They were afraid the lights would attract bandits. What they did suggest is that there was a group of teenagers who would take us with the lights and that they would sleep on the island with us and that it was all good because everyone was bringing guns. At that point, we felt like this doesn't feel like the best plan. We decided to ask a local, a fisherman there who seemed like he'd been around the block. Do you think we should do this? And he just looked at us and he shook his head, no. And so we watched the everlasting lightning storm from the shore. Subscribe here and watch more videos here. We should have gone. We should have gone. We, whatever. We had guns. We could have fought the bandits. It would have been fine. Would have been fine.